at long last, we have confirmation that the Champions Indoor Football League, well, there's no league in their name, but the CIF has canceled their 2020 season after just two exhibition games. Um, it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming, let me tell you that. Um, it probably should have happened months ago, considering, you know, the IFL canceled their season back in, what, April? March, April, somewhere around that time. Um, and the fact of the matter is that there's seven teams in the CIF right now, and the CIF is in a dangerous position right now. Um, along with the NAL, of course, and the IFL is not exempt either. But um, dangerous, dangerous times. The CIF, especially, you know, they don't really pay their players, you know, as much um, as the other two leagues do. Um, and, you know, there's been some things going on with this league, you know, for quite a while now, especially since last year um, with the whole Texas Revolution situation and then, you know, the the whole West Texas Warbird situation that was, you know, going on for maybe like a few days at most where, where it was like, you know, oh, well, due to COVID-19, um, we may or may not be voting. You know, it was just all rumors. It was just all fluff stuff like that so what does this mean for 2021 for the CIF um not gonna lie to you they probably shouldn't even expand it this year to be completely honest with you um like I don't even remember who in the see that's the thing like I don't really follow the CIF like I just don't like it's actually you know in my ge the, the CIF is in my geographical footprint. I'm in Texas. I'm a Texas guy, um, so it's in my it's in that geographical area where the re where the Texas Revolution was down there in Frisco. It's where pretty close to where I was, and you know of course the Frisco Fighters were supposed to be a thing this year. Who knows about next year in the IFL if you know if Frisco even returns. I mean I I, I imagine and they may or may not, it just depends, you know, on everything, but, yeah, um, so, CIF is done for 2020, it should have happened a long time ago, of course, and we'll see what the seven teams do, right now, I'm expecting, maybe, maybe, you know, one of them is like, you know, maybe one or two, get cut, get, get the boots, uh, at least, or, you know, there could be an eighth team or something like that, but I'm expecting, you know, probably something going wrong because indoor football leagues are especially prone, you know, not playing a whole year, uh, teams are especially prone, you know, it, it, it's actually just a sad situation all around due to the virus and stuff like that, but, you know, indoor and arena football teams can't afford a year of lost, you know, trying to, you know, stay in, in black, you know, instead of going in the red, or maybe make a small positive, you know, in the green, but yeah, so, we'll see what the CIF does, you know, in the near future, um, don't look out for any videos on that, because, uh, who knows when news will break, because, the indoor football landscape is ever so changing, ever so getting dicier and shadier and, you know, more legit and not legit at the same time, you know, as we keep on going. So, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm expecting the NAL to do something soon. It should be this week or next week, so we'll find out. Um, and I'll be here to talk about that, so... Um, I'll take care and we'll see you in the next video.